What is this? It's called Abigail. What the heck? <laughs> that is so creepy. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, and look at that disgusting hair. All right, guys, I am in Redding, California today, and I came across this party city right over here that we're gonna go check out. I'm gonna try not to get too super hyped up right now because I just ate way too much food at an awesome local restaurant called Lumberjacks. Oh my gosh, it was so delicious. As you can see, they do not have a whole lot of Halloween stuff up on the windows here, except for this one ginormous Halloween sign right there, but hey, I'll take it. Yeah, there's the giant Halloween sign right there. I'll bet you anything that very soon they're going to start replacing all these other pictures along these windows here with all Halloween pictures. I also noticed that right down here at the end is a Michael Myers stand-up. That's one of those cardboard stand-up. Okay, let's go ahead in and see what kind of Halloween goodness they have at the Party City in Redding, California. Oh, look at this, guys. Right off the bat, we have a couple of animatronics set up here, and one of them is this guy, the Neon Ice Cream Clown. Look at this. His sign says free ice cream. He's talking, but he's very, very quiet. Okay, now I have not watched any other videos about this guy at all. All. Okay, so I had the lady come over here and turn him up because I've got to let you guys hear this. Listen. I'm just so crazy for Halloween. I can't wait to stuff myself to the gills with candy. Now watch. Watch this. Watch. Can anyone say hugs? Guys, seriously, the first thing I thought when I heard him talking was that he sounds like Hug. So listen to him talk here for a minute. You heard it here first, folks. Three sweet treats to all the little boys and girls this Halloween night. I have ice cream flavors to die for. You hear that? He sounds exactly like Hugs. And then he lunges just like Hugs. Nonetheless, let's take a look at him here as what he is. The neon ice cream clown okay so look at his awesome outfit here he has giant red feet orange pants yellow and purple and blue and pink shirt i love his little ice cream hat up there and he's got an ice cream cone okay so i don't want to miss right beside him the giant well i guess it's not really giant but it is pretty huge cardboard cutout of sally and jack from nightmare before christmas and then beside this guy hug's cousin we have this guy what is this guy i don't even know like what his name is i don't see any kind of a sign here that says what he is but he does have a box on his head you can see a face in there if you look closely there's blood on the box. Let's see if he actually does anything here. Okay, I'm stepping on the pad here, but he's not doing anything, so he must not be plugged in. I'll have to look him up online or go to another party city to see exactly what he does, because I don't think I've ever seen him in action. So we do have this sign here for animatronics that they have. Look at this. Seven and a half foot Mad Monster Marlin. He looks pretty cool. There's the neon ice cream clown, the leather face. I really was hoping he would be set up in here. Um, three foot bloody ghost treater, <laughs> okay. 12 foot towering pumpkin creep, he looks awesome. Nine foot drop down scarecrow. Four and a half foot rising woman and the three foot trick or treat ghost and skeleton buddies. Okay, we got a couple of aisles here to cover, guys, but let's go ahead and start up here just with the basic Halloween stuff here. We got some Halloween trick or treat buckets here. We have all this stuff for pumpkin carving, and let me tell you guys, I cannot wait to do some awesome pumpkin carving. Look at this right here pumpkin peeper. <laughs> pumpkin peeper carving kit. Look at this. It's a skeleton with arms, and you put it on the pumpkin like he's peeping out. Does he light up? Oh, yeah, he does. Okay, here's a, a try me. Yeah, look at that. He lights up. That is actually pretty cool. Okay, what's this one? Neon glow carving kit. Hmm. I think 
that you just simply poke this into the pumpkin or something? That's kind of strange. How about this one here? Oh, it's just a carving kit. Um, another light up pumpkin bones one right here, which is sort of like this one. But this one, um, you also get legs. This one, you just get the skull and the arms. This one, you get legs, too, and he still lights up. And you stick him in the pumpkin just like that and carve him a rib cage. Okay, so we have some more pumpkin buckets over here. We have these trick-or-treat buckets, which you can set around at home and put all your candy in for your trick-or-treaters or popcorn for movie night. Let's see, we have some more carving things here. I like these little pumpkin LED lights. Instead of actually using candles, you use these. They take batteries and they light up inside your pumpkin so nobody gets burned. Look at this, we have glitter stickers to make a face on your pumpkin here. We have these mylar balloons, which are pretty cool. Look at this, this one's a pumpkin and a cat. We have a black cat super shape. A pumpkin and then we have happy Halloween with a little skull and a cat look at this one this is a giant 18 inch balloon this is happy Halloween it's clear but it has the pumpkins and the ghosts on it we got the skeleton here a ghost and then just regular balloons wait how did I miss this look at this it's a pumpkin hollow out tool kit I wonder if you put this in a drill like you must put the end of this in a drill and then use this to uh, to hollow out your pumpkin. Okay, let's go ahead and come down here. You could just hear him in the background. No wonder they had him turned down because he just keeps going and going and going. All right, let's start on this middle thing here, this wire rack, because they have some awesome stuff on here right now. First of all, we have the bone chilling bat and it's bat bones. These things always crack me up when they have the bones of different animals, especially when it's like an octopus that doesn't really have bones. At least I don't think they have bones. I know pumpkins don't have bones. Here's the crow bones in a cage. That cage actually reminds me of uh, Hocus Pocus at the end when the bullies are in the cages. And then we have the dog and the cat bones on the bottom here. Look at the cat bones. This is hilarious. His back is arched. That is so funny. And look at his mouth. It's articulated so he can be screeching. We've got some hello rats here. Look at these tiny little things. And then we've got some giant spiders here. Look at the face on that guy. Look at this, it's flowers with a skull on it. That's hilarious. We've got the spir sparkly spiders here, the dropping spiders. These are the ones, okay, they're sound and touch activated. So you hang them from the ceiling and when somebody walks by and makes a sound, it drops down on them and scares the crap out of them. We've also got the collection of fuzzy spiders here. Those are pretty creepy. Those remind me of Indiana Jones and a Temple of Doom. We got this spider that actually comes with a spider web. That's pretty cool. That's only three bucks, man. That's a pretty cool little prop right there. And then we've got this giant oversized web here that you hang in your front yard from your house. And look on this end, we have some neon skeletons here. Look at this, we have a yellow one. Oh, he feels like felt. And look, his jaw is even articulated. So we got the yellow one, we got the orange one here. Man, he is seriously neon orange. I can't even turn his head. This one's neon pink. And then down here we have the skulls. So we have a neon pink skull here neon orange and then we have the neon green which looks pretty cool dang that is pretty awesome right there and look on the bottom we actually have neon spiders as well it's a neon orange spider and then on the other side here we have the life-size skeletons and right now these are actually buy one get one free they have this deal every year but a handful of people, including my son, that other Nate guy on YouTube, went to a Party City VIP uh, party just about, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago, something like that, where they got to see all the new stuff, and then they just got an email letting them know about this deal right here. So if you watch any of them, you've probably seen this deal already. And that is a pretty dang good deal. Look at this. They're $59, but they're buy one, get one free. So you get two for $59. Of course, we have the smaller ones here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> okay, look at this. You always see this every year at this time. I think Party City has this year-round, though. 
the spider webbing. Look at this. These are just giant bags, 400 square feet of spider webs. This would cover your entire front porch. I actually bought a couple of these bags um, probably about a month ago when I filmed the Party City in North Canton. Here's that Michael Myers right here. They have one set up in the store here, and he is life-size. He's a cardboard cutout, and I believe I saw, yeah, right over here at the front of this aisle. Here he is. I don't know how much he is, though. I don't see a price on him, but I'm thinking he's like... 35 bucks or something. All right, let's keep going down through the middle here and then we'll come back down each side and we'll look at everything that they have in here. They always have all this awesome hanging stuff in here. Like, look at these little witches up here. Those just crack me up. And then we have these goblins up here. And then a little lower, we have things like this hanging scully guy. Another hanging scully guy. Look at him. One is in a dark outfit. One's in a white. This little ghosty guy right here for a little bit more of a friendly Halloween. Oh, here's the witches like they have up above. Those crack me up with a little smile on their face. And then we have this hanging creepy doll. Hold on. Look, look it's all over her face. <laughs> it's wrapped around her face, but you can see the face on her back here. She is pretty creepy looking. We got bigger hanging things over here like these scarecrow guys. This reminds me of what was his name smiling jack or something the one that i have that's sort of animatronic and then home depot had one that looks like it too and just his one arm would like shoot out in front of him i think it was smiling jack i can't remember then we have the bigger ghoulie guys here oh my gosh guys i cannot wait to get to the stuff on this aisle over here because i see all kinds of awesome masks and stuff this is going to be sweet look at this welcome doormat here with the skeleton bones that are laying down. Look, his jaw is separate from his head. That's hilarious. We have the bigger hanging creepy doll up here. And look at this. It's only $17. I don't know if that's for the smaller ones over here or for this gigantic one right here. But $17 bucks is a deal for a creepy hanging doll. Bigger hanging scully guys here. We got a hanging creepy clown right here. Look at that hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up. We got Hanging Grandpa here. He's like a zombie. And then, of course, we have the pumpkin guy and the black cat guy. Look at this. He's even got a bat on his outfit that says boo. That's hilarious. They're like trick-or-treaters. We got standing reaper props here. Here's a Jack and Sally on the end. And even bigger hanging ghouly guys over here. But look at this. These are in red. I like the red ones the best. And what in the world is this guy? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this, guys. This guy just scared the crap out of me. I couldn't think of what you call him, and I was like, what's this called? And I pulled on it, and now he won't do it. But I pulled on it, and there he goes. <laughs> I cannot think of what you Oh, like the Plague Doctor. Yeah, it's like the Plague Doctor. Oh my gosh, this one scared me too. Look at this. This guy is pretty cool. This is a hanging uh, skeleton pumpkin guy. And let's see if we can get him going. Hold on, I'm gonna have to do that again because this guy was going crazy up here. Now she's going, what the heck, man? I love how her hair shakes around while she's singing. All right, I'm gonna have to stand back here for a minute so that I don't set these other ones off. And now let's move right back up to the pumpkin, see if we can just hear him. Okay, we finally got to hear what he had to say. Every time I moved up there, the rest of them went crazy on me. We got this hanging no-faced reaper guy here. And then we have this chick who's pretty creepy. <laughs> we have hanging ghosty guy here. His face is all white, so you can't see it very well, but it is in there. Okay, he's got a try me button. Hold on here. Here we go. Ooh, okay, he just lights up. I don't see any movement or hear anything. How about this one right here? Okay, that one's not working, but 
probably the eyes light up. He might even shake too, like those other ones. Okay, let's keep moving down to this one here. Look at this. I love this already. Oh my gosh, I might have to buy some of these today. Look at this, 53 inch decorative balloons filled with air. Obviously, what else would you fill it with? But it is, yeah, 53 inches tall and it's a pumpkin guy. Okay, yeah, so it says right here on the packaging that you need a little kind of a pump to blow them up at home. And I was asking about it and this lady down here was probably like, this guy is nuts. <laughs> Look, this is cool. We even have a haunted house. This one is 50 inches tall. These would be sweet for a party. And then we have this one here, 56 inches tall. This is the tallest one yet with a giant pumpkin and a ghosty guy on it. And what is this one? This one's in a box. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Four decorative balloons, 115 inches wide, 53 inches tall. That is pretty cool right there. That's $51. The other ones appear to be 15 a piece. And we saw some of these up at the front, but look at this one. These are like regular balloons with glowing ghosts on them. That is pretty cool right there. Look at this, we have a pinata spider up here. That would be awesome for a party. See, this is what I love about this store, guys. All this party type stuff here. Look at this, we have squishy green eyeballs here. We have eyeballs down here that are made of ping pong balls. Slimy ooze, like little individual slimy oozes there. Party games, we got the inflatable ring toss. Look, it's like a hat. You put a witch hat on your head, an inflatable witch hat, and then you throw the inflatable rings and try to ring the witch hat. Bend and twist game. Okay, so this is like Twister. It comes with a little spinner. You lay out this like carpet or pad, whatever you want to call it, and you play it like Twister. We got spider web party bags if you want to put like candy in there. Look at this, it's a whole bag of Halloween rubber ducks. Oh my gosh, look at these. Okay, so we've got like a vampire rubber duck and pumpkin rubber ducks in there. That is totally something I would dunk in my hot tub. I'd put like 10 bags of these in my hot tub if I was having a Halloween party. Halloween pencils here. We've got Halloween headbands. Look at this, potato sacks for the potato sack race. Punch balloons, Halloween punch balloons with skulls and pumpkins and what else? Probably spiders on those purple ones. Halloween temporary tattoos. We have the bag o skulls. I like these mini skulls. I just haven't decided anything that I could actually use them for yet, but someday I'm gonna buy those. We got these little tiny pumpkin buckets, which are really cool. You could use these to put treats in, or you could make your own Halloween string lights with these. They also have these little treat bucket cauldrons here, if you were having like a, a witch-themed party. Now that would be cool. You could have a Hocus Pocus-themed party and use the little treat cauldrons. And look at this. We have little orange and black snakes here. That's funny. Why would you have orange snakes? We have a yard sign kit here. Oh, that's more balloons. Okay, yard sign kit, 67 inches, no helium required. Trunk or treat decorating kit, that is a really cool idea right there. Whole bunch of balloons and you can decorate your entire trunk with it. And look at this, a balloon backdrop kit. This is really cool too, like you create your own wall and you can take pictures in front of that. It's 70.8 inches tall. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. We have sweatpants that are half and half. It's a pumpkin when it's put together. It's a pumpkin on the butt. <laughs> and then we've got this shirt down here, the party crasher. Michael Myers here. We got a couple of ghosty shirts. Oh my gosh, guys, some of these masks here. I'll show you in just a minute here. Here's some pretty cool shirts on this rack here. Look at this, we got Chucky down here. Michael Myers right here, purely and simply evil. Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. Hmm, bite off Superman, Batman. And then of course we have this whole things of weapons here. We have like the, uh, the He-Man looking double edge blade right here. 
We have the scythe like children of the corn. Different types of machetes and axes. We got the silver shiny machete down here. Let's see, what the heck is this? A butcher knife? Look at that thing. That is creepy. We got the crowbar, the spiked skull club, crazed jester cane. Look at that. Some bowie knives like the scream knife. We got the silver bloody axe, another machete, the sword harness that you put around your torso and then you can put your sword in it just like that guy. Different ninja swords and things over here and then here's this kind of machete here like I showed you in the one store that's full of blood and when you move it the blood moves around inside. Like look at that it all drains into the handle right there and then when you turn it this way the blood all comes out. Look at the shape of this one this is pretty cool I like that that's kind of like a swashbuckler sword and then we have the bleeding knives here and look at this a bleeding butcher knife like Michael Myers. That is pretty cool right there. I like that one. Oh my gosh, there's even more bleeding knives on the end. Look, we have a giant bleeding butcher knife, a bloody axe that does the same thing, and then down here we even have a bling rhinestone knife. Oh yeah, you can't forget about the pumpkins, apples, and hay rides for Halloween. I cannot wait to get back home so I can go on some hay rides, carve some pumpkins, have some cider and donuts. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at this. They have zombie feet on the floor that guide you. More Halloween this way. And they go that way. And they go that way. We got all kinds of hair coloring down here. There's some costumes over here, which we're going to make our way back around and look at in a minute. But look at this one. It's the ugly dolls costume. Okay. This aisle here is where I was talking about all those awesome masks. She's working down there right at the moment, so we're going to go ahead down this side first. Oh, look, this looks like a Goonies bag up here. Different Halloween costume accessories here. Look at this. We have a hip-hop jacket, a gold one. We got the 90s jacket, the pop princess, the inflatable boom box. That's pretty cool right there. We got the LL Cool J wrapper kit, the glasses. Glasses here like riffraff. Bling rings. We got the dollar sign necklace, the gold chain here. Disco shirt, vintage top, retro geometric shirt. Bell-bottom pants. Look at the ripped t-shirt here. We got this stuff like the grease costumes here. The poodle skirt, the T-bird jacket, the pink ladies jacket. We even have the Sandy wig here. That's pretty cool. The 60s costume kit down here. And then we got the hippie character kit. That's hilarious. I do like that dress right there. Flashy flapper here. We got some boas. We got the gangster vest, the gun holster, the Charleston headband, the cigarette holder, the head honcho. <laughs> That's a cool one. Oh, look, guys. We have the chains of death here. Skeleton arm stakes. We got the caution tape. Three different kinds. Keep out. Zombie zone. And enter if you dare, I think that one it says. And this one just says caution keep out. We got the black light glowing gauze here. That's pretty cool. That makes everything look spooky. Natural moss. The pop-up coffin. We got a handful of different tombstones here. These are foam tombstones so if you look over here they also have these metal stakes that you stick in the ground and you use these to hold them up look at this pumpkin that's getting a skeleton hug a skull snow globe let's see Ooh, i expected there to be like bats or something in there but look at that that is pretty cool right there. It almost looks like a big pearl on top of the skull. We got the Halloween gel clings here. We got all kinds of napkins and cups for parties. Look at this one. I like these plates. It's a haunted house. I love the colors on this. Look, there's 50 in that pack right there, guys. For nine bucks, that is a Halloween deal. Table decorations. We got these ghosty garlands here. Look at this. We got the cutouts for your party. We got a table cover here. This is a three pack of table covers. Oh, this is cool. This is like a skeleton backdrop here. 100 by 65 inches when assembled. That's another backdrop you can set up and like take pictures with. Here's one that's nothing but spiders. That's pretty cool. 
hanging decorations down here. We got the window backdrops with skeletons here that look like silhouettes. Skeleton garlands. We got the banner up here. Ooh, bat cutouts. Now this is really cool because whenever I decorate, I always take like black construction paper and cut out bats, but that takes forever. So there are 50 bat cutouts here and they're only eight bucks. And this right here is a perfect way to use them. Another eight dollars for the gauze kit and you can put it all over your fireplace or your stairway. That is really awesome. Oh look, and it even comes with bats. This comes with sparkly bats. I absolutely love all the Halloween party stuff. There's so much stuff here to choose from. Wait a minute, I was gonna show you something else, but look at this, oh my gosh. This is so cool. Look at that design. I don't know what that's all about up there. I could do without that, but look at that witch with the pumpkin. That is really cool. These must be Disney. Yeah, they are. Disney plates because she looks like the um the old lady from what Snow White maybe and then there's the villain from the Little Mermaid but I don't know who that guy is if anybody knows who that guy is let me know but this is awesome too look at this we've got the skull shaped punch container you fill that up with punch and it's got the nozzle there you just put your cup underneath and get some punch yeah this is all Disney villains themed party stuff here I do love the green that's really cool, and I love all the colors in these. Look at this, it's like a lenticular carnival sign. As I turn it, it changes. Carnival-themed hanging decorations and napkins and plates. Here's one that has that ugly-looking clown on it. And then here's some Nightmare Before Christmas party stuff here. The plates, the napkins, the table runner, and look at these awesome cups right here. These are huge. We got Jack Skellington and Sally on them. I love how the inside is orange too. That is really cool. Okay, so over here we have like an entire aisle full of costumes and stuff, but I'm not sure how much more time I have to film this video, so we're going to save that maybe for later because we'll see that later. I just want to show you guys these awesome things in this aisle over here that I've been putting off, starting with these awesome pumpkin guys right here. They're like blow molds. They're evil pumpkins, and they have a light inside. Those are so cool. We got this light-up bat sign here that illuminates from the back. We got some gargoyles down here on the bottom. The musical Jack-O-Lantern's light string. I love these. Look, the face shows up and they sing. Those are so cool. So they have these Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees screen setters. This is basically like a banner that is five feet tall that you hang up. And you could use this if you didn't want to get like the cardboard stand up like this right here. Look at this, we have a hand on a hook and we have bloody eyeballs, a bag of bloody eyeballs. We have this hanging zombie guy, what the heck? Look, it's like he has maggots coming out his face and his eyes and his ears. Oh look, this guy is actually working now. He's in a straight jacket and he just thrashes back and forth. <laughs> I can hear him screaming in there too, but he's not very loud. I'm sure they have him turned down as well because this guy was going nuts forever. Okay, so we're starting to get into the masks here. We have Friday the 13th Jason over here. We got another little Jason one right here, which is not like the greatest thing I've ever seen. This one I kind of like. You could actually get one of these and scratch it up and cut it up a little bit and paint it to make, to make it look pretty dang cool. We got a Pennywise up here. We have Freddy Krueger here. That's not too bad of one right there. I'm kind of partial to the part Part four mask, but we got the Pennywise costume here. We got a couple of Elm Street costumes. We got a Chucky costume down here. And I just want to finish showing you these scene setter things here real quick because these are really cool. Like, look at this. This is a ginormous backdrop roll. There's actually, it looks like there's two of them in there, and it's all bloody hands. You just put it on the wall. We have the window silhouettes here of Chucky and Michael Myers, and there's probably some Jason in there somewhere. Bloody hands and footprints you can stick all over the walls and the floor. And then we got this, like, walkthrough thing here that has blood on it. Look, it says, no one leaves. Even a pop-up trash can. This says, help. We got a bleeding face ghost face costume here and look at this a seed of chucky glenn's axe i don't know if i've ever seen that before holy crap that is actually pretty cool there he is glenn himself okay now we're gonna get into these masks guys and these are pretty 
cool. First, we have to say hello to the bingo guy. Hello, bingo guy. This is one of my favorites ever. A look at this dapper cat over here. He's cool. The patient zombie who chewed right through his mask. We got this one here that says ha on the top. The slender man. And look at this. The siren head. I've never seen this mask before. Look, the face is a big mouth. And each of the ears is a big, wide-open, gaping mouth. We got this one down here called a bone snapper. Look at this thing with that disgusting yellow hair. <laughs> we have the evil Krampus here. Yuck. I would not want to wake up and see that thing at the foot of my bed. And look at this. A wood monster. I've never seen this one before either. I wish I could get a little bit better light on it. But look at this. It's like he's made of wood. Almost like Groot. Only evil. A giant alien mask here. Radioactive skull. That is really cool. I love that green creeping out his eyes and mouth. Look, this is a skull with hair. It's a light up mask. Let's see. Yeah, how cool is that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's awesome. We got another light up one here. Oh, it looks like he has the eyes that are like digital. Oh, yep. Wait. There he goes. His digital eyes are looking around. And you can see where there's little eye slots under them. That's where you would see out if you were wearing this. What is this? It's called Abigail. What the heck? <laughs> that is so creepy. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, and look at that disgusting hair. It's so wonderfully disgusting. We have the sliced mask. Hold on, I gotta turn it around. Look, it's like the head has been sliced into pieces. Oh my gosh, that is insane. And look at this one. This one's called the Rule Alien. I, I don't know if this is like a character from some kind of a show or something, but look at that. He has one eye. He's read the map wrong with his one eye. The mouth actually reminds me of this movie from the 80s called Extro. X-T-R-O. It was like a horror movie. I don't think I've ever actually seen it, but I remember the mouth looking like that on the video cover. I told you these were awesome. Guys, hold on. I want to make sure I'm not missing any here. There is this guy up here, but you can't see him very well, and he's too high. I can't reach him. But then there's another one down here that I thought was really, really cool. It's this one right here. Look at this. It's just called Mask, but it's like a Caesar mask or something. What the heck? That is awesome. It looks like it's made out of stone. Yeah, it's in the same section here with all this stuff from Ancient Times. Ancient Times head wreath. The ethereal cape, the toga, the goddess costume, we got deluxe, Roman sandals, the Egyptian dress. Here's an armor kit, that's getting into a different set of things over here, but here's a Cleopatra. We even have a golden rope belt here. This store is so good for costume accessories, guys. Ninja assassin, warrior tunic, hooded cape. We got the Dark King here. Look at these masks, that is pretty cool. And this one here is only a jaw, like a skull jaw. That is really awesome. Of course, we've got a bunch of awesome uh, skeleton costumes here. And look at this, all these skeletons up here watching over us. All right, guys, yeah, I'm out of time, but man, we saw a whole bunch of awesome stuff through this whole part of the store here. Party City is absolutely loaded. We still have like this entire aisle here, so we're gonna have to go to another one. And they have like all this stuff over here that is all costume stuff. And let me just take a look down here. Yeah, look, oh my gosh, they still have so much stuff we didn't even see. The monster feet lead down there and there is tons more Halloween down there. So we are definitely gonna have to go to another Party City very soon when I have a little bit more time, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and stick around because we have plenty more coming.